tonight. From the Superdome in New Orleans. It's the NFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. five-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. On first down, it's Mitchell. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. from the 32-yard line here, second and three. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. Back to throw here. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, New Orleans. DK Metcalf. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They trail here early in this division round game as they seek a spot in the NFC title bout. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard game there. Through one corner, 14-7, our score. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. On third down, it's Mitchell. Fighting him off. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. They'll run on first down. Herbert, and they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate, and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Right back to him on first down. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints! Jamar. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And that last touchdown drive they had very balanced. How key is that balance? It's huge because most of the time when we talk about balance is run, pass, almost 50-50. But most of the times when you talk to offensive coaches, they say balance is we do what we want when we want to. <laughs> and that means that they're ahead of the defense, keeping them on their heels. Yeah, they imposed their will on that last drive. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. A big-time play there for New Orleans. Second quarter action, two minutes to go on divisional round weekend. 
We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. Rolling to his right. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. They're going to look to throw. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Micah Parsons charging hard from that linebacker spot, and he drops him for a loss of 11. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. We always hear a lot of veterans on the defensive side of the football. They talk about smelling blood in the water, putting pressure on a rookie. They got to him there to force it free, but couldn't recover it. And you mentioned the pressure. Rookie quarterback, you're going to bring more pressure to him at all times because you don't know how he's going to hold up. He was fortunate there. Luck was on his side, able to recover that fumble. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And we'll see how they want to play this. Just a little over 20 seconds to go. Throw left side complete. That's Mitchell. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven. Past the 30 to the 32. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll look to throw. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, partner, they're not content to run this one out as we head towards the half, trying to hit a big chunk play right there and add to their score. Now, this is a confident group. At the very least, they're thinking field goal. Yeah, and I don't blame them one bit. I a fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. And he'll try and throw here on the fake. And this one will not work out. It is incomplete. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. And Lutz puts this one through. And that will do it. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And they find themselves down on the scoreboard following the field goal a moment ago. And I think even though they trail in the game now, I would consider that a win for their defense, and that's probably what they're telling the offense when they get to the bench. Hey, the onus is on you guys now. Get back out there and get us the lead back. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. Going for Metcalf on the deep ball. And that going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run. Oh, a strip. The ball comes out. Fortunate to get that football back because trailing here in the second half, last thing they needed was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get possession. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. He's going to look deep down the field. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. A big-time play there for New Orleans. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone, 
I wonder what the next play call is going to be because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. Second and five. Escaping. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Demarcus Lawrence, his second sack of the night. One quarter remains for a trip to the NFC title game. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On third down, Mitchell. A three-yard loss, fourth down now. And they have just not been able to block him at all throughout this game. Seems like every other play, he's doing something in the backfield. Already got two sacks, and now here's a tackle behind the line. An excellent field position thanks to the interception. On first down, Mitchell. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. Right back to Mitchell on second down. And he's able to work it here to the 8-yard line. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football. In that situation, that's almost a 10. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Elijah Mitchell. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Flushed out right. That's complete to his running back, Herbert. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. But Charles, you look at this offense. They're the number one seed, a Super Bowl favorite. But it's hard to avoid the topic that this is a rookie quarterback under center making his first ever postseason appearance. Any concern level there? I would think that we'd all have some concern because, you know, a rookie quarterback, that's just not normal, right? But I think I'd be a lot more concerned if they were the six or seven seed and had to go on the road and play in a hostile environment. What if it was cold outside? But here you got a guy who's been solid all year, led them to all those wins, the number one seed. I think they have unquestioned belief in him. They also feel like they have a responsibility to help carry him along as well. And he'll be pulled down, and now a late flag will come with it. And that's in the area of a face mask, I think. Defense. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. Dancing to his left. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone. And this is caught. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it with it an eyelash. Dropped it to one. A looming decision to make on the conversion, down seven. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Elijah Mitchell, his second touchdown of the So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Second and 10. Back to throw. Flush to his right. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Back to back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. He's going to let it fly. And that is going to be pulled in one handed. Wow. He'll look to throw. And that 
is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Maybe some temptation here to try to go for the win, but I think you got to kick the field goal. I agree totally. When you look at the time left on the clock, that's not a spot where you take the gamble. Go ahead and kick the field goal here and take it from there. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. Very short kick. This will be taken by one of the up men. Four quarters, not enough. We're all even, and to overtime we go. How much fun is this for everyone who's watching the game? How much fun is it for us to see this one get an extra period to get settled? Overtime in a playoff game, awesome setup. Remember, the rules are the same as they would be in the regular season. That's exactly right, Brandon. Remember, the receiving team, if they score a touchdown, game is over. But if they kick a field goal or don't score, the other team gets a chance to get the football. They get a possession. If they go down and score, they win the football game at that point. If both teams kick field goals, we keep playing. If a defense scores, let's say the receiving team gets the ball, doesn't score, or they throw a pick six or fumble, gets picked up, the defense scores. Get there he goes, right side. There are no flags. He's into the end zone. Touchdown. And an amazing Touchdown. turn. Wins it in OT. Hard fought game through four quarters. Gets us into overtime. And then you can't even catch your breath and realize you're in overtime and the return of the ball game's over. Absolutely amazing what we got to see because we're setting up all those different scenarios as we go to overtime. Do you take the ball, right? What do you do with the coin toss? Where are you going to play? How are you going to do it? And that takes it all out of our hands, doesn't it? A bolt of a return that ends the ball game. How often do coaches talk, Charles, about that third phase? And here the third phase was the difference.